I mean, smallly, I, I, I own this bookshop, or, or the family owns the bookshop. It's a family owned bookshop in, in West Leicester. We, we came here from Canada in 1987, I think it was, a long time ago anyway, when the world was a different place. It, it's named for Gunter Grass. When we set it up, we had a lot of trouble deciding on its name. And one of my daughters at the time was reading The Tin Drum by Gunter Grass. It's a great novel. And she said, well, why not call it Tin Drum Books as a sort of homage to Gunter Grass. You know, in German, it's Die Blechtrommel. So we couldn't call it Blechtrommel Books. <laughs> so we translated it out of German and it's the Tin Drum Bookstore. So Tin Drum, after the novel, The Tin Drum. And uh, it's been that for a long time. It's quite a good name, actually. I've always wanted a second-hand bookshop and this seemed like a good place to have one. It was intrinsic. My, my, I liked books. I always liked books. I was a great library user in my youth. And the discovery of second-hand bookshops was one of the great leaps forward in my life. So liking second-hand bookshops, it's only one step on to owning a second-hand bookshop. We're strictly second-hand. We're, we're classified as a small to medium bookshop. So we're not too big, but we've got plenty of stock and we've got a few specialisms. We do focus on one or two book areas. Yeah, they're, they're still relevant, they're wonderful. I mean, th there's going to be a small group of people who like books. You know, they, they like the, uh, they like the, they like the, the physical nature of the book. You know, there's something about the book. It, it is a satisfying object. Um, the reading for entertainment and the reading for, uh, for learning and instruction is, is diminishing. You know, particularly learning for instruction. Uh, a, a lot of bookshops made part of their income by selling books to students. Now no no student, you know, no student within the last few years has bought a book. No student ever buys a book anymore. They go all, all learning, all instruction is done on the computer. You you have screens, you have handouts and, and you know, electronic data. So the sale of books to students has disappeared completely. Um, which is a shame because I think the, the students would benefit from owning the occasional book. Our, cust our custom base is very tiny, very tiny, largely because of this change in interest in the, amongst the students and the alternative ways of being entertained. Um, we've survived by keeping our cost to an absolute minimum and avoiding overcommitment. That's a tricky one. Overcommitment is dangerous and just working within our means, you know, adapting to the changing circumstances, which we can do because we're, you know, small and flexible. 